AITA for calling my sister cruel for her tattoo idea? Sis is 28 I'm 26 M. My sis N has always had a strained relationship with our parents especially my mom. I am clearly not privy to the reasons because things are fine with me and my parents. When N went to college she met her creative writing professor as a freshman and they got close. Immediately. They would do a lot together and worked closely on a few different writing projects. N never specifically said this. But it was obvious to anyone who saw them interact that they had a substitute mother-daughter type relationship, which hurt my mom a lot to see. I always thought she'd grow out of it or that the professor would move on but 10 years later they were still very close. About a month ago the professor died unexpectedly and it devastated N. She was really depressed over the holidays which of course was all in front of my mom and was a Difficult reminder that N loved the professor as a mother way more than she ever loved my mom as a mother. She still talks to my parents and stuff and they don't fight or anything but N is very distant and doesn't tell them anything about her life beyond the bare minimum. My mom tried to comfort N but N was doing her distant thing and didn't want comfort. Something unfortunate that happened to N is that when she got the call that she died, she was brewing tea and in the shock of the news she spilled boiling water on her arm which burned her kinda badly on her wrist I think the burn was like on the borderline of second and third degree and definitely still looked pretty rough during the holidays. N said it was especially hard because in addition to the physical pain every time she looks at it she is reminded of the moment she found out the professor died. Which I totally get. I was on FaceTime with N and she said she talked to her tattoo artist friend who said that the burn should be able to heal well enough to get a tattoo over it. And then excitedly told me about her idea which is a type of flower that the professor gave her a bouquet of for her undergrad graduation. My mom was so embarrassed that day because she didn't get N flowers but the professor did and N was parading them around so happy and it was a reminder of their connection. I guess N and the professor exchanged these flowers for every special occasion like birthdays etc. So now she wants to get a decent sized tattoo in a highly visible spot of something that will remind everyone of the professor I told N that this seemed really cruel to my mom who already feels cast aside and like she's in exile from N. And that's without the constant permanent reminder. N kind of scoffed and said, I can't believe you think you have the right to tell me not to do. This called me an ass and hung up and is still not talking to me except for a very brief text. Saying congrats for a promotion I just got. My parents aren't commenting. My dad said I should have just kept quiet even though he agrees and my mom made no comment but seemed grateful I stood up for her. I feel like I was just being protective of my mom. But AITA? YTA. It's okay if you and your sister have different relationships with your mom. Trying to make your sister see your mom, just like you do is not going to work. Yes. YTA. For starters, your sister's body belongs to her. You do not have a say in what goes on it. You can approve or disprove all you like. But it's her decision. For second, you are not the arbitrator of your mother and your sister's relationship. If your sister is bothering your mother, it is not your place to fix that rift. If your mother is bothering your sister, it is not your place to fix that rift. You sister lost a very close friend and person in her life and would like to get a meaningful tattoo to represent that relationship and honor that loss. There is no cruelty in that tattoo. There is only cruelty in the minds of people who think it's somehow about them when it is not in any way. I'm clearly not privy to the reasons because things are fine with me and my parents. You have decided to make judgments about your sister's relationship with her professor without having the full picture of her relationship with your parents. It sounds like your sister found someone who positively impacted her life. 
I'm happy for her. You should be too. YTA. YTA. I think I can give some perspective from your sister's side. I too have a strained relationship with my bio mom and have adopted my high school best friend's mom as my own. My bio mom and I have been distant since 15. My older sister was the golden child. And I was the scapegoat. The way my mom treated me was mentally abusive. I'm not going to claim that your mom is the same way because obviously I'm not a part of y'all's situation but I can say that my siblings, when I would describe the events that took place, would have no recollection. They would describe a completely different woman than the one I experienced. Please open your mind and heart to what your sister experienced and try to understand her. She's not doing it to harm your mom. I promise you there is no intention to hurt your mom in any way, shape, or form. If I lost my mother figure, the woman who has claimed me as her own for the majority of my adult life, who brought me flowers on my graduation, I would get a tattoo in remembrance of her. 2. You were lucky enough to have a mother figure in the woman who birthed you. Your sister found one elsewhere. She's not doing it to hurt anyone, but to remember someone she dearly loved. Edit. I just want to emphasize that I'm in no way insinuating that your mom was abusive to your sister. I just wanted to highlight how it is completely possible for two siblings to have completely different experiences with the same parent and your sister's feelings are valid. YTA. Seems like your sister's professor was more of a mother than y'all mother ever could be. My sister N has always had a strained relationship N with our parents especially my mom. I am not clearly privy to re-reasons because things are fine with me and my parents. I don't blame your sister for getting that tat that reminds her of the professor because that professor treated your sister better than your parents did. Things are fine between you and your parents because your parents obviously favor you over your sister. YTA. Mind your business. Your mom being embarrassed because she forgot to buy her daughter flowers is her own damn problem. We can all tell you were mommy's golden child from this post your poor sister. Info. My mom was so embarrassed that day because she didn't get any flowers. Why the hell are you so concerned about protecting this woman's feelings? Your mom was embarrassed at N's graduation because of her failure to get her own daughter anything. To celebrate her graduation, it was neither N's nor her old professor's fault that your mom didn't get any flowers. Or anything else. I also find it interesting that you refer to her constantly as, my mom, and not, our mom. N's body is her own. And you have zero right to tell her what to do with it. This tattoo isn't about your mom at all. And it's honestly a bit weird to me that you think it is. YTA. YTA. You say you don't care mo why the relationship JS strained but in the comments prove you absolutely do. No. Through your sister's life until she was 17 she had to be the parent to you. Dot and deal with drug and alcohol addicted parents. She was likely abused verbally but at the very least she was forced to be a parent to a younger sibling and keep you both alive. So she leaves home to go and study within a very short time so she never felt cared for or supported. Dot she meets a professor and husband that care and support her and show an interest. Dot she would have felt love for the first time in a very pure way. Your mom shows up to her uni grad and doesn't even bring flowers or a gift, makes zero effort. Now this woman who changed her life has passed away and she is grieving. And you want to tell her to keep it secret so her abuser doesn't get hurt feelings? I will give you the benefit of the doubt and say you are naive, dot but open your eyes. If you apologize now, and understand and mean it sincerely, you might save your relationship. Your sister has class emo. Even when she was so hurt by you she still congratulated you on your success. Do you show her as much love?
YTA. If it is true that they have always have a strained relationship. This is your mother reaping what she has sown. You should be ashamed for attacking your grieving sister like this. What you have described is the golden child and the scapegoat child. You being the golden child. N didn't get what she needed from her own mother and was incredibly fortunate that another stepped in and took on that role. Take your blinders off and see. Ask your sister if she felt second best growing up. And be open. And silent. When. And to what. She tells you. Yes. Yta. Edit. So many scapegoats checking in. Many hugs to you all. Yta irrefutably so. Your mother is the one who destroyed their relationship and now she is merely reaping what she has. Sown. The fact that your mother hasn't told you why their relationship is broken to such a degree is. Because she knows it's entirely her fault. The fact that your father is telling you to drop this also shows that they're at fault. You do not get to come in and dissuade your sister from getting a tattoo in memory of the only person who treated her like a daughter and the only person she could look up to. P.S. I would not be surprised if your relationship with your sister is damaged as much as your mother's. She had a bad mom. You didn't. Accept it Lil Golden Goose. Y.T.A. Y.T.A. How about letting her mourn an incredibly deep and recent hurt and support her instead? Might end up improving the relationship with the whole family. Speaking of recent, what tattooer is tattooing over month old second third degree burns? I would never tell her not to but I might mention waiting a bit longer and researching her artist. YTA. That tattoo is her way of honoring someone close to her that she lost it's a way she can heal more than just the physical scars of the burn. Trying to stop her is selfish. YTA. It's really not your place to decide what she chooses to do with her body or what her relationship is like with your mother. You could have said it more of a way that may warn her that it would hurt your mother but it's her decision. I have a very strained relationship with my own mother so I can see it from her side. If you don't know the situation between your mother and sister, don't interject. YTA. This is not about you. And your mother doesn't need defending. Look up golden child and scapegoat. You're the golden child. You are making your sister's grief all about your mother. YTA. Edit. I just read your comments and OMG. How can you dismiss your sister's trauma like that? You are being indolent and cruel towards her feeling and experiences. Please apologize to her and stop victimizing your parents. They are the literal abusers not your sister. Wow. YTA. You're sure giving your mom a lot of unearned grace for a situation you've admitted you know nothing about. You must be the golden child. YTA. No question about it. It's a beautiful tattoo idea to remember someone she really cared about. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.